Okay, so here's my fill my head project and I've got a good collection of images showing up here and you should end up with quite a few, I mean 30 images is a lot and so you'll be squeezing them in here into the inside of your profile or even maybe in the background which I'm going to get to is how can we add images to the background you can see I've got a drop shadow added in here you can see that there is a gradient in the background as well because some of the things that you're going to be playing around with are different um, gradients, shadows, some of these effects that you get from hitting this guide right here this elect, um, layer effects um, button and so you can play around with those. Another thing I'm looking for is that you guys have been making really good selections with your using your selection tools um, these guys up here could be any of these um, any of these selection tools, your quick selection tool, your magic wand um, and also knowing how to make selections with your lasso tool as well and so playing around with those what I shouldn't see is a bunch of blocky images on here you should be choosing specific things from those images and placing them into your profile so now let's get into some tips and tricks all the things that we've been playing around with so far you've used in other projects and so now let's work on combining these things together so let's say I want to add something into the background here it's kind of boring I don't want just a plain background showing up um, I want there to be some sort of image show me that you can get creative with it so here's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna bring in another image I already have chosen to go into this space back here and so I'm gonna go to my other tab which I have this right here this is from a city from New York um, corner of Broadway and Fulton and so I'm going to take this and I'm gonna bring it over into my new um, um, project so I'm going to grab this, I'm going to drag it up to my this tab, I'm holding shift, and I'm going to let go right here on top, and it centers it. I'm going to rescale this so that it shows up nice and big. There we go. I'm going to hit enter. Notice it won't let you do anything until um, you hit this checkbox or you press enter on your keyboard. And so, hitting a little check. Now it's set and I've got it, it's over my profile image, which is fine. Um, your profile should be up near the top if you're following the directions the right way, should be up near the top. So check that out and make sure that these are lined up the right way. Um, once you have the image in place, what I wanna do is take out the profile from this. Okay, so how am I gonna do that? So. A, quick shortcut on how to select this just the profile from this layer I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard this little box with dots around it shows up which means it's gonna choose the selection from this layer and if I click on this there I am it shows the whole thing but this layer is the black area which you can see it highlights and it puts these controls over the whole image which I don't want I want the inverse I want it to just highlight around the profile so I'm gonna to go to select inverse and now these controls go and they shrink down to right around my profile once that is done I'm gonna make sure I'm on this layer my top layer and I'm gonna hit delete and so my image shows up now which is great but if I click away, it's very flat, and I'm going to deselect. I'm going to select, deselect, or control D. It's very flat. There's not, I lost all my dimension. I don't see my drop shadow anymore. I don't see any kind of color. It's kind of confusing because it's really busy. And so what I want to do is create some separation. I don't want, I want my most important things to stand out. I want the background to kind of be um, maybe a different color or something else. So with that layer selected, and I'm going to call this background. It's always important to label your layers. And I'm going to play around with these blend modes here. I'm going to play around. I can select these different blend modes and see what looks good. I've got lots of cool colors in my greens and whatnot in my profile. So I'm thinking about what's going to make this look good. I have a gradient already applied as a effect layer on this profile and so 
it's blending those effects with this background image, which is kind of cool and I like it. So I'm going to kind of look through these different options here and see what I like. And something that's going to make this stand out really good. Um, subtract is okay. And then some of these just don't do it for me. So kind of find a good place, uh, something that I like here. Kind of like that one, but it's kind of kind of bright at the same time. So I like this linear burn because of the contrast, the colors. And, but what I can do is also change a little bit of the opacity, lighten that up a little bit so it's not so, doesn't over um, dominate my the profile here. Now I can see my drop shadow, my profile kind of stands out more and it makes it a lot more interesting. And so get creative with how you place your objects. Um, twist them, turn them, scale them, to make them all fit into an interesting composition. Also at the same time, make sure it doesn't get, it's not too blocky and you're making your selections wisely and you're arranging everything, um, you know, in nice areas around your profile. So that is my tips and tricks for the day. Um, try this out, see what kind of image and something interesting you can put in the background. Play around with your different effect layers so you can set, create some separation and some interest between your profile and whatever else is happening around your profile. So that is it for now. We'll see you next time.